hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching so for today's video I have for you all these uh, gorgeous looking blue cut crease uh, smoked out eyes and I paired them up with these uh, neutral looking warm orange shut up lip and I've tried to cover it up with the help of this flawless looking base makeup look so positively I personally feel that I loved recreating this makeup look and uh, I hope you all will enjoy watching it as well as recreating it if you people recreate then please don't forget to tag me in the photographs of yours and uh, if you people like this video then please don't forget to give this video a massive massive thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you people haven't already so without wasting any time further let's just get started I'm starting off with the skincare first as obvious I'm going ahead with my rose water spraying it all over my face and waiting for it to get absorbed then taking my moisturizer this is the oil free moisturizer by Neutrogena and I'm just gonna go ahead and fairly massage it into the skin the kind of foundation I'm using today it just fills into the pores really badly and it's just not good for the pore areas so I just love to prime before I um, go ahead with that foundation so I'm just taking my aloe vera gel by Patanjali and I'm just gonna use it as a primer and I'm just gonna pat it onto the areas where I did do have some pores now I'm switching over to the eyes I've applied a tape and I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal my eyes with the help of the Milani's concealer this is the concealer for the day and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all over the eyelid and then taking the MAC nude uh, the balm meat MAC nude shade and I'm taking the MAC Wood and the MAC Lombard shade, a combination of these two and just gonna go ahead and set my eye area with the help of it. It just gives me that uh, matching sort of a flawless look. Now I'm taking the matte uh, Rosen shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it onto my crease to create uh, that, uh, some, uh, that cut crease a sort of a look. You have to start it off from the beginning. You can see the edge of my crease is like a little bit tilted towards upward. You have to move your brush in a manner that it sticks a little bit upwards I'm just building up the same color at the moment I haven't switched up my color yet so here you can see me I'm just more making sure that it's looking intense as intense as I want it to look then taking a little bit of matte gracia shade shedding of the excess I'm just gonna intensify the crease a little bit more further so this would give me that required amount of coverage that I need then taking a smaller paddle brush and taking the same concealer, the Milani one, I'm just going to take it on the tip of it and I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease, carve out my crease with the help of the same concealer. As you guys can see me doing a right over here, cutting the crease requires a little bit of practice. So just go ahead and practice a bit. Uh, applying a scotch tape does helps a lot as I am showing you at the moment. So do go ahead and if you're not practiced enough like me then do go ahead and apply some scotch tape and uh, on the corners of your eye it would really help now taking the matte malloy shade once again i'm just gonna set my lid area to make sure that my liner smooths in like really fluently that's why i went ahead with the setting thing now i'm taking the nika's get gorgeous uh, eyeliner range and i'm taking the uh, blue hex eyeliner from the same range and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply the liner onto the cleaned up areas that I did went ahead and cleaned up with here you can see me doing the same I'm just gonna intensify the color a little bit further this would act as a base for the colors that are coming forward and it would just make it them pop a little bit more I'm just gonna go ahead with the NYX ultimate brights palette and I'm just gonna take this royal blue shade from the same palette and I'm just gonna set the areas where I did went ahead with that uh, blue eyeliner. This is the actually uh, this is actually the color of a choice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all over the areas and intensify it. And then taking the liner, this one is by L'Oreal. This is the Super Liner Gel Intensa. And taking the Real Techniques Angled Brush because I did wanted my eyeliner to stand out today. So I did needed an angled brush for today's liner and you can see I'm just going a little bit reckless with my liner application. Normally I don't do that but I am having something like that in mind only. The look uh, look requires something like this only. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this uh, eyeliner as a winged eyeliner on both of my eyes with the help of the tape. It would just stick to the right places and wherever it is going overboard it would be on the tape only so it's just a nice cheat 
so here you can see me i have removed the tape and got the liner where i exactly wanted it to be cleaning up my under eye area because i had a lot of blue eyeshadow underneath i'm taking my smaller liner brush and i'm just going to finish off my eyeliner first today so here you can see me i'm just taking my liner brush and just going ahead and finishing it off what i did begin and that's pretty much it for the eyes for now i'm just going to take and switch up to the base and I'm just going to take my Milani concealer and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. I just needed a little bit more of a coverage for my dark circles because my over eyelid was really very, very dark and intense. So my eyes would look tired and, uh, you know, not up to that uh, level. So I just went ahead with a concealer that gives me immense coverage. I'm taking the Isadora 16 Ash foundation and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. As I mentioned earlier, this foundation just slips off from the pores area. So you have to be really careful when you are applying this foundation. That's why I went ahead with a primer and need to make sure that the pore area is completely filled in. So here you can see me. I'm just going ahead and applying it all over my face as well as onto my neck to make sure that it matches the face, of course. Now taking the... Uh, uh, LA Girl Pro HD setting powder. I'm just gonna set my entire face with the help of it and you would see guys now It will make everything fall into place. That's why I say uh, having a perfect pressed powder or face powder is the best thing you can do to yourself now taking the uh, Milani's Par uh, cream to powder uh, Foundation I'm just gonna take it onto my fluffy uh, powder brush only and I'm just gonna apply it onto the under eye area because I like my under eye area to be brightened up enough and it wasn't brightened up enough for me so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it this will be the last cream uh, to powder finish thing that I'm using going ahead towards my uh, Maybelline Master Contour Palette. I'm just gonna bronze up my skin using the contouring shade from the palette. It says contouring, but it acts as a very beautiful bronzer onto the skin. It just warms up skin really, very really well. So here I'm uh, taking the Freedom Pro Stroke Palette and taking this banana shade for highlighting and combination of these two shades for contouring my face. So taking my brush, I'm just gonna highlight first uh, the areas where I love to highlight. I'm just, I didn't went ahead with the cream highlighting thing today. I just went ahead a little bit lighter on the highlighting stuff as you guys can see me doing here so I did went ahead first on the under eye area and then went ahead on to my rest of the face and you can see it just cleans up a little bit as well and it just makes your areas the areas of your face that you want to highlight come a little bit forward then taking the contouring shade a combination of those two shades that I did showed I'm just going to go ahead and contour my cheeks and rest of my face connecting the contouring onto the face area just to give it a little bit more of a sculpted look going ahead with my nose and lip with the help of this smaller faces brush so here you can see me i finished off my contour i'm just taking my blusher this one is the color bar and i'm just going to apply it onto the apples of the cheeks to give them that a little bit of a flush of a color i know you people are thinking it's a little bit more than a little but it will just all fall into place taking the highlighter of choice today is la girl pro hd highlighter in the shade called 50 watts I'm just going to apply it onto the tops of my uh, cheeks and the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, chin and whatever is left on my forehead to give it a more sculpted look. Taking the same highlighter, I'm going to pop it into the inner corners as well to give them a brighter, lighter look and give my eyes a little bit more of an open lip look. Taking the matte wood shade from the Balm Make Matte Smooth palette, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows. Now, if you guys follow me regularly or quite an oldie and bestie of mine then you people must have already known that uh, filling up my brows with the help of a powder is something that i love now going ahead with my lipstick i'm taking these two shades both are both are from uh, lacme nine to five range this is the first shade that i'm using is the orange edge now this was way too much orange for my liking for today's makeup look i didn't want it to be way too bold and the focus to be switching up between lips and eyes so i did went ahead with a little bit of a peach path and I just applied it over the top of the orange edge shade and this is what I came up with it's looking a little bit more subtle at the moment then taking the same gel eyeliner the L'Oreal one I'm just gonna line my uh, uh, waterline area with the help of it to give it a more finished look because balancing your under eye is something that you need it to do as you guys can see it's just giving a little bit more of a, a better effect so taking first the matte rose and shade, I've smoked out it onto the lower lash line, then taking the matte gracia shade, I'm smoking it under my lower lash line, then taking the matte wood shade, I'm just applying it onto the outer one third of the eye. 
Then taking the mascara, this one is by Chambor. This is the Sheer Delight Mascara by Chambor. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it onto my ashes, uh, sorry, my lashes and groom them a little bit before going ahead towards foliage. As you guys would have just in the introduction earlier as well, that I did went ahead with a pair of foldies. And I personally felt that this look was incomplete with a pair of foldies, so I went ahead with them. This was, these are by Ardell. And I'm just gonna mix them up with my original lashes with the help of a normal brush to give them more of a natural look. And with that, I finished off this entire makeup look. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you all have enjoyed it. And if you people did, and please don't forget to give this video a massive massive thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you people haven't already so with that being said i'll take your all's leave and i'll see you guys in my next video till then just stay blessed bye bye